Maya. And we're with the Winkle. And we're all dressed up today because we're making snow. snow. Clara, do you love when it snows? Well, I live in Texas, so it doesn't oh. really snow that much. Oh, darn. I live in Arizona. It doesn't snow that much here either. But I love going to visit the snow. Actually, I'm going to go visit my brother in Utah in a few days. And it's going to be snowing so we can go skiing. Yay! So fun. One of my other favorite things to do in the snow is making snow angels. And I also love to build snowmen. Snowman. <laughs> I love snowmen too. Perfect. Well, let's see what's in our kit today. Some baking soda, conditioner, a bag, and some details. Awesome. On top of everything in your kit today, you're just going to need a plate or a dish, something that you can build your snow on. And then we're ready to get started. Okay, you guys at home, don't take your baking soda out of the bag yet. I just poured mine out so I could show you what it is. It's baking soda is actually a chemical called sodium bicarbonate, and we use it in a lot of things that we bake. So the chemical compound formula is NaHCO3. So the Na is the salt part, and the HCO3 is the bicarbonate part. You guys will learn a lot more about that when you learn more about chemistry in science. Clara, we're gonna start by opening up our baggie, the extra baggie that we got, and we're gonna do this over our plate. In case we make a mess, the plate will catch any of our mess. Do we need to pour all of it? Yeah, we are gonna pour all of the baking soda into the baggie. This is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put the bag on top yes, of the Yes, put the bag inside the bag, and, and then, then just pour it upside mm -hmm. down. Very good. Like this. And then we're gonna grab the bottom. And just give it a little shake. And it's gonna be right Yep, and make sure not to take it out of the bag until it's all out. Good, then we don't need this bag anymore. There are only two ingredients in this project, Clara, the baking soda and conditioner. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, that's really easy. Yeah, totally. Baking soda <laughs> dissolves really well in water, but the hair conditioner doesn't quite have enough water in it to make it dissolve completely. So are we gonna need water? Nope, we don't need any water. The conditioner has a little bit of water in it, and when we add that to the baking soda, it moistens the baking soda just enough to make artificial snow. What's artificial mean? Artificial means fake. We're not actually making real snow <laughs> fall from the sky. That would be super awesome. We're making fake snow that you can play with. Okay, so Clara, we might not need all of this conditioner. So we're just, just like gonna... half of it. Well, let's see. We're going to be our own scientists today. So you're going to squeeze a little bit of it in. Mm -hmm. Then kind of squeeze some of the air out of your bag as you're zipping it shut. Good. Now we're going to do what's called kneading. It's not like I need to eat food. It's I need like K-N-E-A-D. It's like mixing it. Yes, it's like mixing it. It's how you knead bread. Does your mom make bread? Yes, a yeah. lot. So you knead the bread. Okay, so do you feel that? It's yeah. very powdery and it's starting to become snow, but I think we might need to add a little bit more. Just like any Winkle project, you guys get to be your own scientists or engineers and you get to do the project however you want. So if you decide that that looks good for your snow, then you can stop right there. If you want to add a little more, try it out. Give it another squeeze, close the bag, squeezing the air out, and mix it up again. Oh, this is looking a lot better this time. Don't do it too hard because you might get a hole in your bag and then you have snow all over the place. Good right. thing that's why we have plates. Yes, that's true. We have the plates. Okay, Clara, we've been kneading this for about a minute, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Okay, let's see if we like how it is now. Oh, wow. Oh, it smells so good, too. Mmm, mm, fresh. <laughs> Yes, I like that consistency. Oh, yeah. This is called a consistency when you're feeling the texture of something to it's, see if it has um, lumps or if it has too much moisture or if it's too dry. That's going to be the consistency. And do you think it has a good consistency, yours? Yeah. Once you get the consistency of your snow that you like, you can be done making your snow. Keep your conditioner in case your snow dries out. Like I said, the reason this is working is because it's adding some moisture to the baking soda. So sometimes when you're playing with it or if you leave it out, some of that moisture might evaporate into the air and your 
snow could dry out a little bit. So if that happens, put it back in your bag, add a little bit more conditioner, knead it around, and then it should be nice and moist again. So what are these for? I'm so glad you asked. Okay, these are for making a snowman. Oh, cool. I'm so excited about this. Okay, so if you put your snow out on your plate, it's snowing. Oh, that's so fun. Put your bag so aside. Fun. That is so fun. Now, this is very powdery snow. Do you know anything about powdery snow? It's kind of like powder. Like sugar. Um, powdered sugar? Yeah. Mm, this is not powdered sugar. <laughs> powdery snow is kind of hard to make a snowman out of. So um, we're going to do our best today. But don't get frustrated if you can't make like a really tall sculpture or a really tall snowman. It doesn't... Just, that's just the way it is. It doesn't have to be perfect like that. Yeah, but nothing I'm, is perfect. Yeah, and that's totally okay. I'm making this ball by just scooping up the snow. Oh, this is so nice to play with. It feels so nice. It does. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so I made it nice and tight. Do you see how I keep like squeezing it and squeezing it and squeezing it? That's just like when you make a snowman for real life. If you just dump a bunch of powder on top of a pile, it's just gonna be powdery and breakable and not work. But if you pack it tight, like how I'm doing right here, then it'll be nice and sturdy. And with my remaining snow, you make the top of the head. The top of the head, and that's gonna be really hard. Okay, so I packed the ball and then I kind of am pressing it, not too hard into the bottom ball because I don't want it to all crumble. Who do you think is a more popular snowman, Frosty or Olaf? Frosty since he's a song. Oh, Frosty does have his own song, that's true, but Olaf has two movies now. Well, I kind of have three layers to my snowman here. Oh, my head keeps on falling. Yeah, that's gonna happen. So when you're doing the head, you kind of, yeah, just like that. Okay, now we have our scarf that we can wrap around our snowman to keep him nice and warm. Oh, isn't that so cute? Ah, yeah, he's gonna fall over a little bit. Now we have a toothpick that we can make his nose. And with these beads, you can give him little eyes. And see, you have to be so careful when you press these in. See how I'm holding the head with my other hand and slowly pressing it in with my other hand? Because if you just like pressed it in, the whole thing would fall apart. And then I think we have some more beads to do some buttons. I don't know why, but a snowman always has buttons. Like he's going somewhere fancy, maybe. That looks so good, Clara. I love your snowman. Me too. Yeah, and you guys can keep playing with your snow. You can actually... You can make some different things. Like you can make a snow dog. A snow dog? Or good a idea. snow horse. Yes, or you could just lay your snow out and make like a little snow angel on your plate. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, you can make an igloo and like little tiny snowballs and play with like your Legos. Like snow. Your Legos that you love, you could have like a Lego snow fight, like a snowball fight. Yeah. Yeah, that would be so fun. There's so many fun ideas to play with your snowman. Just remember when you're done playing with your snowman, put it back in the bag so it can stay nice and moist. If it does dry out, you can add a little bit more conditioner, knead it around, and it'll be nice and moist again. Hey, while you're playing with your snow today, have a grown up take a picture or video of you and they can post it to social media, either Instagram or Facebook, and tag us at the Winkle Crate. That way we can see what you made and how it turned out. Yeah, what thanks for joining us, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Have fun with your snow. Bye. Hey everybody, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and we'll keep you posted whenever new Winkle videos come out. Also, make sure to check out our freebies and our website www.thewinkle.com to get a kit shipped to your house every month. Bye! Anytime you need me, call me. I will. I'm your guy. Huh. Moist, 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 moist. That's a weird word. Yeah. Moist. Remember, if when you're done, blah, 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 blah. whenever you're done, you thank you. Put it back I know what to bag. say. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey. 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 So many bloopers. How? So many bloopers. Not enough time. What's my line again? I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it perfectly this time. Just watch.